few days ago, Paramount released a trailer for Gladiator 2, and although I personally am not that excited for it, it did look pretty interesting. My dad watched Gladiator 1 all the time, and when it was on TV, I would catch glimpses of it and did find it quite entertaining. But what does this have to do with Sonic at all? Well, Paramount is in charge of Sonic Movie 3, and we still haven't seen a single trailer for that movie. We've seen a teaser of the logo, and that has been it. Now, a few months ago at a movie con, CinemaCon, they did reveal a trailer for Sonic Movie 3, but have not yet released it to the public. Many people have talked about it that were there at the event, but we haven't gotten our own eyes on it. You know what else they showed at CinemaCon at that time? Gladiator 2. So I think if we can follow trends correctly, we might be seeing the Sonic Movie 3 trailer quite soon. In a few days, there's going to be another convention, and Paramount has been rumored to have a very big booth there. Meaning there's most likely going to be more news involving Sonic Movie 3. So it would make sense that they would release the trailer for the movie that they've already released at CinemaCon, and then bring out a new one for the crowd that shows up to that. But we can only hope, because Paramount, as I said in a previous video, has been in a very big deal, or negotiations for a deal, because they are going under and need to give up their rights to somebody else, which could put everything in jeopardy. Now, I'm not one to be Mr. Doom and Gloom, and I do believe that the Sonic IP is a big enough franchise to keep Paramount wanting more even when they get sold off, but it's still something to consider in all of this. Paramount's releasing these big hitter titles, but it's not going to be enough to save them entirely. I mentioned in a video about a week ago that A Quiet Place Day 1 was already announced to be hitting the streaming service Paramount Plus shortly after its release in theaters and how that could be a problem for it and future movies from Paramount, including Sonic Movie 3. And I would just want to say thank you all for your support on that video, commenting and all of that. But there has been an update to that. Someone has, from Paramount, spoken out and saying that the date of it being in streaming has not been finalized. So I think they're doing a little bit of PR backpedaling in that sense. But I just wanted to get you updated on that. The reason why I'm even bringing up Paramount News is because it is linked to the Sonic franchise and the Sonic movie. And I just want to make sure everyone is kept up to date and we make sure we realize the patterns that are happening from the company. It is very odd that they're keeping everything so hush for Sonic Movie 3. I think it's about time to get the hype train rolling because as fans, we are starving for anything regarding Sonic Movie 3. We know what Shadow looks like based off of the end credit scene of Sonic Movie 2 and some leak render footage of a side of a toy that's being released, but besides that, we haven't really gotten anything substantial, and that's kind of upsetting because the Knuckles TV show didn't really give a lot of people any hope. So that's all for this video. If you like Sonic content and want to stay informed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a bunch of stuff on here that is only Sonic related. Sonic movie news, walkthroughs, playthroughs, you name it, I got it. I'm Lucy Disaster, and I hope you have a super Sonic rest of your day. See ya.